Where some may find them overwhelming due to their large size, giant dog breeds actually make perfect family pets. Discover 10 of our favorite big dog breeds. Number 10 Anatolian Shepherd. This giant livestock guarding and droving breed has its roots in protecting livestock from predators and in assisting people in moving livestock from pasture to pasture across the central Anatolian plateau. While recognized by both UK and US kennel clubs, these are still dogs with a strong history of protection against both animal and human threat to their own familiar people and livestock. Their nomadic lifestyle, often protecting livestock independently of any owner, meant they had to make their own call on what constituted a threat and take appropriate action. This means they're a big, heavy and athletic, and a very tough dog to live with and train, and should be considered specialist, for those living on large, securely fenced properties with prior livestock guardian breed experience, and few visitors. Number 9 Dog de Bordeaux on the smaller end of the giant breed scale, the Dogue de Bordeaux or Dogue, also known as the French Mastiff, is nonetheless still a pretty hefty, sizable dog. Being on the smaller side, they mature at around 2 years old, and are more agile and faster, and will require more exercise and physical activity. Great for owners who want a big, but still active dog. Number 8 Great Pyrenees The Great Pyrenees is a large, thickly coated, an immensely powerful working dog bred to deter sheep-stealing wolves and other predators on snowy mountaintops. PYRS today are mellow companions and vigilant guardians of home and family. Frequently described as majestic, PYRS are big, immensely strong mountain dogs standing as high as 32 inches at the shoulder and often tipping the scales at more than 100 pounds. These steadfast guardians usually exhibit a zen-like calm, but they can quickly spring into action and move with grace and speed to meet a threat. The lush weatherproof coat is all white, or white with markings of beautiful shades of grey, tan, reddish-brown, or badger. Number 7 Irish Wolfhound Irish Wolfhound is standing near the forest. With an average height of 83 centimeters, the Irish Wolfhound is unmistakably a giant. Unlike most sighthounds who are on the leaner end of the scale, the Wolfhound is both tall and broad. Though their history goes back as early as the 1st century AD, the modern Irish Wolfhound's roots lie more recently in the 19th century, when Captain Graham revived the breed, using Scottish Deerhounds, Borzoi, Great Dane, and Pyrenean Mountain Dogs. Once they reach adulthood, this massive and shaggy-coated breed is usually a truly gentle giant, however as puppies and juveniles they are boisterous, clumsy, and frankly, enormous. Despite this, few people seem to have only one Irish Wolfhound. Number 6 Leon Burger the Leon Burger is one of the more glamorous, giant breeds, with their reddish gold coat and a striking black mask, they do resemble a glorious, majestic lion. And they're meant to, as the Leon Burger was created by Crossing Street Bernards, Newfoundlands, and Pyrenees Mountain Dogs, with the aim of creating a majestic, lion-like dog. Leon Burgers come from Leonberg, Germany, and were selectively bred to resemble the heraldic lions of the town's motif by the then mayor of Leonberg, Heinrich Essen. They served as farm and guard dogs as well as companions to the wealthy and noble, one look at their food bill will explain why this was, and are easily capable of fulfilling the same roles today. Number 5 Newfoundland Newfoundlands or Newfies are another of the better-known giant breeds, particularly famous for their love of water. This passion is usually first seen in puppies who try to get in their water bowls, or repeatedly tip the bowl up so they can wallow in the puddle. On average, the Newfoundland is 71 kilograms and stands 78 centimeters at the shoulders, making them a truly massive dog. Their love of water should be no surprise, the Newfoundland originates from the island of Newfoundland, Canada, where they worked as sled and cart dogs pulling heavy loads, and as water dogs, retrieving heavy nets from the water, and of course, humans who fell overboard. Their heavy, oily and weatherproof coat meant they could survive the extreme low temperatures and wind chill, even whilst wet, and their huge, webbed feet made them effective swimmers with great traction on wet, icy, slippery ground. Number 4 Tibetan Mastiff Watchful, aloof, imposing, and intimidating, the ancient Tibetan Mastiff is the guardian dog supreme. These densely coated giants are mellow and calm around the house, sweetly devoted to family, and aloof and territorial with strangers. Coming face to face with this ancient behemoth, an intruder up to no good will likely move on to easier pickings. TMs can stand 26 inches at the shoulder and weigh well over 100 pounds. It's impossible to discuss this breed without leaning on words like powerful, muscular, massive, and substantial. And yet, TMs are quite light-footed and will meet a perceived threat with surprising agility. 
The broad head, with its high-set, V-shaped ears and expressive brown eyes, projects a noble, sagacious expression. Number 3 Great Danes One of the tallest of the breeds and frequently featured in the Guinness Book of Records for their height, the Great Dane is a well-recognized giant breed. There is no upper height limit for Great Danes, but at around 18 months the minimum height for females is 71 cm, and for dogs 76 cm. On average, they weigh around 50 kg, and this should be a lean, fit dog, not a soft, overweight dog, as those long bones have a lot of work to do. Family-loving, goofy and slightly ridiculous even, remember Scooby-Doo was a Great Dane, but their origins lie in Germany, as boar hunting dogs who are also capable of protecting the estates of the wealthy and noble. Keep this in mind if strangers enter your property, or if wildlife starts running, as your Great Dane certainly hasn't forgotten. Number 2 St. Bernard Few people are unaware of the St. Bernard, and if you say giant breed this is the one many people will bring to mind most readily. With a breed average height of 80 centimeters and a weight range from 70 to 90 kilograms, they truly are a behemoth of a dog. The same part of their name comes from their origins in a Swiss monastery at Great St. Bernard's Pass, high in the mountains. The monastery was a hospice and refuge for travelers, and though initially the St. Bernard was used as a protection dog, they soon became useful as companions and rescuers. The modern St. Bernard still possesses the presence to ward off strangers harboring ill intentions, though once introduced to someone as a friend they are affable and easygoing. Their main aim in life is to be a lapdog, no matter their size. Expect a dog that remains a lumbering clumsy puppy well into their third year, and while you have a choice in coat length, the drool is non-negotiable. Number 1 Mastiff, English While males come in at around 31 inches, the Kennel Club breed standard recognizes that they are often taller but no longer give a height, just say that size is desirable but only if combined with quality. Still, the Mastiff is among the biggest dog breeds alive today in both height and weight. Over the centuries, the Mastiff was used as a fighting dog, a powerful guard dog, but also for wolf hunting, bear and bull baiting and dog fighting. When these were banned in 1835, the future of the breed looked uncertain and by the end of the Second World War, there were only 14 left in the UK. Thankfully enthusiasts re-established the breed, but they are still uncommon. Despite this fearsome past, the Mastiff is a calm, gentle, and noble dog that is devoted and loving towards their family, often thinking of themselves as a lapdog. They are however indifferent or even suspicious of strangers, human or canine. Thanks for watching, make sure to like, share, and subscribe our channel.